Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to go over why my first trial in Final Fantasy XIV Online revived my senses to raid again as an ex-WoW player. If you're new here and enjoy my content, then I would appreciate it if you smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you get notified every single time that I release a new video. With that being said, let's get into it. The last time I joined hardcore 10-man raids were in Wrath of the Lich King around 10 years ago. Most fights were tank and spank or just guy to mayhem and always felt a little out of my ballpark. Final Fantasy XIV makes finding groups easier. They also make the mechanics of the fight more transparent with obvious floor markings to avoid such as tank busters, stacking arrows, and circles to avoid that, you know, you don't want to stack. Even though I had no clue about any of these at the time of streaming this trial, as you will see, they were complete surprises to me when I ended up dying. Nevertheless, it was a great learning experience as to why you need two tanks in an 8-man instance just in case things do go south. Final Fantasy XIV changed the group dynamic which also brought me a fresh perspective on reviving my raid senses. With an 8-man trial or raid, instead of 10-man and 25-man for the same dungeon like in World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy introduces unique, specific, higher player count raids called Alliance Raids with their own unique story. I thought that was freaking cool. And at this moment, I'm going to insert a plug for my first ever Crystal Tower Alliance Raid. If you're interested in joining, I am going to stream it on October 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time over on twitch.tv slash Geegan. You will find a link to my Discord where you can sign up in the description down below. Let me tell you that this Thorn March trial was a lot of fun. The Mughals bouncing all over, trying to protect the Mughal King. The story leading up to the trial itself just added the whole aspect of me wanting to protect Gridania from the newly summoned threat, which eventually I found out was the Mughal King himself. The fact that the Mughal who was helping you now was deemed as a traitor and you needed to fight with another low level Mughal simultaneously was a real treat. The setting for this fight really lit up my senses. It was a kind of like a forest environment, which made sense because I, in my, in my head, I think that Mughals occupy a forest in kind of like a fantasy type of place, you know? And on top of all that, the music, people, this music was something that jolted my senses and made me want to keep fighting and participating in this trial. It was almost like I was dancing in a battle dancing around with the different Mughals we were trying to defeat because all of their attacks we were trying to avoid. There were no boring moments that I could think of. I really didn't understand what these attacks were or what was happening, but the fact that I was able to just keep walking around as a tank made it so much more interesting. <laughs> Things were flying all over the screen, the beautiful animations of everybody's attacks were just really cohesive and really made it for an interesting first trial experience as an ex-WoW player. You know, some of WoW's environments were pretty lame. They were pretty dull. The raid environments were kind of like, you know, a tower or a dungeon, something cold and dark. Yeah, it was really cool and it added to that whole dark fantasy vibe, which I do enjoy of World of Warcraft uh, as well. You know, I do enjoy that vibe. But in comparison, it is completely different. Final Fantasy has a different art style. It's very flashy. It's very bright and colorful. And it just like made me feel excited. But at the same time, I really wanted to complete this trial and defeat the Mughal King and tell him, hey, we're not a threat. And you got summoned by an evil character who I will find out eventually. In the upcoming weeks, you can expect more reaction videos from me from things like the Coils of Bahama raid, because this is going to be a raid experience and not a trial, where I read that trials, you simply just walk into the instance and you fight the boss pretty instantaneously. I really am looking forward to seeing what future expansions of Final Fantasy XIV brings to the table, including the more difficult content such as Savage, etc. I find this separation of endgame content in Final Fantasy XIV a perfect way to integrate future content. It's definitely easier to find 8 people for trial and raids instead of 10. And with FF14's Duty Finder, 
It helps people get into groups and see the content that the developers wanted the players to enjoy, which is the story. And I'm really enjoying it. We've reached the end of this video and I hope you leave a comment down below. I would love to know your reaction and experience with your first ever trial experience in Final Fantasy XIV. I highly recommend that you go check out my next video, which is a reaction to this fight. You're not going to want to miss that one.